Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today we will discuss about resistance of a system of resistors. Okay, so I have told you about what is Ohm's law which is V is equals to IR where R is the resistance. Okay, so now we will see that resistance of a system of resistors. Okay, so first we will see when resistors are in series. Okay, so let's say this is a battery and here is ammeter okay so let's say these three resistance are R1, R2, R3 and if I apply a voltmeter against each let's say this is V1 plus minus then it is let's say V2 plus minus and it is V3. So students what I will get is if net voltage is V. So V will be V1 plus V2 plus v3 okay and as we know from the ohm's law that v1 will be the current flowing in the circuit that is i into r1 and v2 will be i into r2 and vt v3 will be i into r3 so what we will get is v is equals to i into R1 plus R2 plus R3 adding this 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 is one equation two three and this is fourth so creating one two three and four what we get is R resultant is R1 plus R2 plus R3 so student this is the case when the resistors are added in series okay now let's discuss about when they are added in parallel so when the resistors are added in parallel let's say I'm drawing the diagram here So student the resistance are let's say R1, R2 and R3 again okay and this point is X and this point is Y. So if I measure the voltage across X and Y what I will get is the voltage will remain the same what we are getting okay but the current in each branch would be different now okay so let's say the current in this branch is I1 and in this branch it is I2 and in this branch it is I3 so the net current I will divide like I1 plus I2 plus I3 and as we know from the Ohm's law that I is equals to V by R R is the parallel combination where RP so I have right here RP so now I will check I1 is V by R1 because voltage is same across if it is V so I2 will be V by R2 and I3 will be V by R3 students so net I 
is equals to v by r is equals to v by r1 plus v by r2 plus v by r3 so from here i get that the r resistance in parallel equivalent resistance this is sum of 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 okay students so this is the formula when the resistance are added in parallel and the formula when the resistance are added in series is r1 plus r2 plus r3 so this is the basic difference between the resistance and how the resistance are added okay so in the next lecture students we will see some question based on uh, resistance how they are added and how they are in if they are in series and if they are in parallel students okay so stay tuned for the next lecture on question based on resistance in series and resistors in parallel okay and if you have still any doubt or any question based on this lecture then please do comment in the comment section student i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning